In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. You are listening to Daily Bread Devotions with Father Eustace Yame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. Your word, Lord, is a lamp for my steps. Stay tuned. It is Friday, the 5th of July, 2024, 13th week in ordinary time and participating in the proclamation of the word of God for today are the following daily bread members. Brother Innocent Igu Isiani celebrating his birthday tomorrow. A Marian brother of Rodonga in Arua Diocese in Uganda takes for us the first reading. Dress for Chisanga and Christine and Chisanga celebrating their seventh wedding anniversary today from Kafue Estate in Zambia, take for us the responsorial psalm. And proclaiming the gospel is Father Celestine Chishimba, who celebrates his birthday day after tomorrow, a dean of the Anglican Cathedral of Gaborone, Botswana. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. First reading. I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, but of hearing the words of the Lord. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Amos chapter 8 verse 4 to 6 and verse 9 to 12. Hear this, you who trample upon the needy and bring the poor of the land to an end, saying, When will the new moon be over? that we may sell grain, and the Sabbath, that we may offer wheat for sale, that we may make the ephah small and the shiko great, and deal deceitfully with false balances, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of sandals, and sell the refuse of the wheat. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun go down at noon and darken the earth in broad daylight. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentation. I will bring sackcloth upon all loins and baldness on every head. I will make it like the morning for an only sun, and the end of it like a bitter day. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. They shall wander from sea to sea, and from north to east they shall run back and forth to seek the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Psalm 119 verses 2, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 131. The response is taken from Matthew chapter 4, verse 4. And the response is, Man shall not live on bread alone, but every word that proceeds 
from the mouth of God. Blessed are those who keep his decrees with all their hearts, they seek him. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every I have thought you with all my heart. Let me not stray from your commands. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every way. My soul is consumed with longing at all times of your decrees. My shall not live on bread alone, but I I have chosen the way of faithfulness. Your decrees I have appealed. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every way. from the mouth of God. See, I long for your protects. Give me life by your justice. Man shall not live on bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God, I have opened my mouth and I saw, for I am for your command. Man shall not live on bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Man shall not live on bread alone. Gospel acclamation is coming from Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Canto mi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Matthew chapter 9, reading from verse 9 to 13. At that time, as Jesus passed on, he saw a man called Matthew sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he rose and followed him. And as he sat at table in the house, behold, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw this, they said to his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? But when he heard it, he said, Those who are well have no need of a physician but those who are sick go and learn what this means i desire mercy and not sacrifice for i came not to call the righteous but sinners the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ prophet amos in the first reading of today tells the people what is going to happen to them they have been listening to him, but they have taken for granted the words he has been speaking. He has challenged the way they have been unjust, and they have been listening to him, just like the way many of you may be listening to a lot of devotions from many priests, from many pastors, but nothing much is happening in your life in terms of transformation. And so Amos promises them a famine, not of food, but of the word of God. You know, you will never know what you have until you lose it. Mark these words. You will never know what you have until you lose it. I had a mother. My mother was very tough. My mother used to tell us things and sometimes she would get upset and shout at all of us. It was only after she was gone that we started understanding the words that she spoke to us. Her insistence on prayer, her insistence that we should focus on school, other siblings who did not listen to her, understood that she was not even thinking about herself. She was thinking about our own future and how we were going to manage our lives. My brother, my sister, take care of the words that are spoken to you and do not take anything for granted. Your parents are telling you a lot of things and 
Mind you, there will be a moment of famine when you would want to hear their words. Treasure those words now. Amos says, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. That famine may come on us if we don't take in the word that is spoken to us. Remember, these words are words of wisdom. And it's not only about the word coming from me. It is also about the word that we receive from our teachers, from our instructors, from our lecturers, from our pastors, from our parents. Put down those words because they are going to be a treasure to you in the future. The gospel passage of today tells us about somebody who did not take for granted the word of God. It was Levi. Jesus passed by. Instead of allowing Jesus to pass by, he made his word stay with him. He listened to the follow me message. He followed Jesus and he made a celebration over that following. And in that house of Levi, who even invited other members of the society who belonged to his party, Jesus made clear his mission. He came not for the righteous, but for all of us who are able to listen to his word and keep it. He came for the sinners, not sinners who want to remain in their sinful state. This is what people use in order to justify their sinful state, to remain complacent in their sinfulness. But wait, Jesus is saying, I did not come to call the righteous but the sinners to repentance. He says, only the sick need the doctor. If you are sick, you go to the doctor, not because you want to remain sick forever. You go to the doctor because you want to recover. Jesus is saying, come to me so that you may recover. He's our doctor. So I'm going to him as a sinner because I want to be well. I don't want to remain in the same state. I want to be made well. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed Friday to you. Thanks be to God.